Is that you? Oh, you smell like pooer. Bloody hell, my manager didn't tell me I was making videos for the peasants of the world. Jesus Christ. Which is exactly how I would start this video if I was the type of LA YouTuber to make my own reality show. And a good example of this is a good friend of the Kalamaka YouTube channel, Nikita Dragon. So Nikita Dragon is a YouTuber who's got millions of subscribers and we've took it upon ourselves to create a series reacting to a new reality show. I think we've done two episodes in the past and so far all we've learned is that she she, uh, loves Aww. herself. So as you can tell, it's a very in-depth show. So I thought, what better do right now than to finish off the series and react to every single episode that we haven't already, which I think is about four. And you never know, Kim, maybe, just maybe, Nikita Dragon comes off as likeable. But, uh... Probably wouldn't bet too much money on that. But before we do get into Nikita's show, I do just need to tell you guys that if you click the join button on my channel or the link in the description that says channel membership, then you can actually watch every single Marky video a day or two early. Meaning there's a big bunch of people that watch this video you're watching right now a couple days ago. And then not only that, obviously you would be supporting the channel. So if that is something that interests you, then you can do that. But you don't have to. So we're currently up to episode six, which is called Nikita just went on the best first date of her life. And I've got to say, just reading the title, has severely shocked me. Because as you can tell, I am someone who just cares so much about Nikita Dragon's dating life. But in the show so far, all we've seen is that she's emotionally toying with one of her best friends, and if she doesn't like someone in a date, she either gets them to pay for the whole date, or throws water over them. So, the fact that she's had a good date is actually quite sh- <laughs> I feel like I'm really putting myself out here with these dating things. I'm being vulnerable and I'm trying. Trying? Vulnerable? The last we seen of you, Nikita, was you going on a date with someone who really didn't do anything wrong and you decided to swill them in front of F1 in a bar. If that's you trying to have a nice date, then I don't want to know what it's like when you're not trying. She finally finds a man, he pays for her to go to Bali, free course meal, candles lit, the view is as beautiful as you can possibly imagine, but because... Nikita's not exactly trying today. She whacks out the flamethrower and kills the bastard right there. I just texted Oscar asking him that like I need him. That's it. And he was there. I'm honestly so relieved to see Oscar. Like no matter what goes on in my life, he's always the one to settle me down. Ah, yes. Oscar, uh, if you didn't know, that is the person that she's been toying with throughout this series. I'm not even gonna slit her for it, okay? Because this was probably a storyline that was faked from the beginning. The directors probably came to Nikita with the idea of the show, realized there needed to be an ongoing story with romance and realized that Nikita's best friend, who a few of her viewers know, would be the perfect person. But I do realize that's a very brave assumption, okay? Because these LA reality shows are just known for their authenticity, aren't they? Hi. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. You're cute. Thanks for saving me last night. I, I was gonna talk to you about something. I feel like we we hang out kind of on your terms. <laughs> I am sorry, okay, but I just refuse to believe that this conversation would happen when there's a fucking crew of six cameras just pointing at you from two meters away. Like, imagine if you were sat on your sofa with a bunch of cameras pointing at you trying to record a show, and someone came in and was like, look. I need a talk, okay? You've been a horrible friend. We only hang out on your terms. How horrible are you? You just be sat there like, Oscar, uh, I don't, don't think this is the time. You know, there's a, a few cameras there. We're trying to record something. Can we save this for another time? And I just like, we need to decide on if we're just going to be friends or if we're going to try to develop something more than just a friendship. So all I'm saying is I just need to know if you just want to be my friend or what. I don't know which one it is. I don't know. <laughs> Nikita, you're really filling them with reassurance there, aren't you? The poor boy's just letting his heart loose, you know? He just can't handle this anymore, and your response is... I don't know. You may have interrupted earlier, Oscar, okay, but I'm starting to feel for you. Oscar is too confusing for words. Oscar's too confusing. I'm sorry, are, are we watching the same thing? I would actually go out on a limb and say he was pretty straightforward with what he said. You know, he actually said, like, real sentences with actual meanings and more than three words in them, like... Uh, I don't know. But yeah, Nikita, I agree. He's the confusing one in this, isn't he? Oh, here we go. It's date time. Now, I do just need to warn you in advance, okay, mate? If you are going to go on a date with Nikita and you're getting dressed up and all that, you probably want to make sure it's something a little bit waterproof. I mean, of course I'm late. It takes me a while to get ready. You know, I'm shaving, I'm plucking. Of course I'm late. Do you know who I am? The things I mentioned that are holding me back may be very normal things in life, but I'm Nikita Dragon, okay? I'm allowed to get away with it. I think I deserve your number. That would make up for my night. You can put your number. What is this? Okay, pose. Wait, what? You're not gonna be with me? Lift up your shirt or something. 
<laughs> oh my god, is this normal? So far in the show, Nikita's been on three dates, okay? The first date, we saw that she told the lad to start stripping off inside a bar. The second date, she threw water over the bloke, so naturally he's probably gonna have to take his clothes off to dry them. And now she's also getting this guy to undress in an arcade. I mean, bloody hell, Nikita, you don't hold back, do you? Well, let's move on to the next episode, okay? Nikita has never made herself this vulnerable. Oh my god, the suspense is killing me. Can I be successful in multiple places? But am I really willing to put myself back out there in the way that no one has seen me and pursue it? Oh, what a surprise. She's going to make music. Bloody hell. She really is an LA YouTuber, isn't she? Ah, you. Listen, I'm not as late as I normally am. Nick Cooper is the celebrity vocal coach. He's worked with Beyonce, Zendaya, Nicki Minaj. Like, he's literally so legit. And the fact that he's accepted me as one of his students, I feel so honored. So honored, in fact, that she was late to... Yet another thing in her life. But you heard the woman, okay? He's only worked with, like, Beyonce and Zendaya in the past, okay? Nothing that crazy. Even Nikita Dragon's gonna turn up. She's gonna go on her own time. I can do anything I put my mind to. Of course to. you can. I can do anything I put my mind to. Come on, take the breath. It's okay. Nikita, your face is going red. Take, take a breath. Nikita, re remember to breathe, okay? You need to breathe to survive. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe I could become a vocal coach one day, right? If anyone wants any lessons, then let me know. I almost feel like we should do a listening party for you. We can. I'm scared. Like, I'm scared of anyone's opinion. Oh, God, we're gonna hear the song. I wonder what it's gonna be about, okay? Right, actually, let's set our predictions. And I promise, okay, I have not watched this at all, okay? I'm not gonna rewatch it twice. I would never put myself through that. So if I had to predict what Nikita's going to sing about, we've probably got the fact that she's really rich and famous, the fact that she is a bit of a, a bad bitch, as I see in every single one of her tweets. Should I even whack out a little chorus saying how Oscar's a bit of a simp? <laughs> you never know, really. And let me tell you, They'll tell me whatever they're thinking. <laughs> this song title is called Fake Bitch. Oh, so it's called Fake Bitch, okay? I said she's probably gonna call herself a bad bitch, so I guess she really has shocked the world with this one, hasn't she? I'm a fake bitch, I'm a fake bitch. Tell me all your secrets, probably say shit. My biggest critic would be Olivia, who is an actual singer. So as you can see by Nikita's music, she really is a lyrical mastermind. I particularly like the part in the song where she uh, said, fake bitch. I mean, that was quite a good line. And then I guess apart from that, I like the, um, the other line. That was, um, fake bitch again. You know, when I think about it, Nikita really should try poetry. She has a way with words, doesn't she? I think we wanted to bring all of you guys here because we wanted real honest feedback, so... Yeah, I've been in the music industry since, since I was 15, and like, it is very hard. I had a triple platinum song when I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the friends are the same. Well, you know, if you're gonna ask me who just so happened to be a triple platinum artist, you know, someone who's really good at making music, you know, actually really talented, not just like a little YouTuber on the side, like actually does music, really famous, really talented, then uh, I'd probably say... It's all right. Well, I'm glad we had you, mate. I'm glad we had you. Now, to finish this video, I think we can actually watch the last episode, which just so happened to be called I Figured Out That I Love You. I feel like I've, like, started to get, like, a really good head on my shoulders about, like, what I want. After I've just, like, processed everything that you, like, were telling me and, like, I've figured out that, like, I love you. I've always, like, waited for, like, a guy or, like, someone to come along and just, like, decide. And I think that's what makes it complicated because I kind of forgot that, like, I could say something too. I feel like I just, like, want me. Right now, just with, like, all my friendships and, like, things that have obviously, like, it kind of, like, fallen through, like, I just wouldn't want to put our friendship, like, in jeopardy. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a bit harsh, wasn't it? What a way to get the guys up. So, we're going to start by saying, I love you. The guy's probably like, oh, my God, this is finally the moment. And then she's like, oh, yeah, as a friend. <laughs> oh, and that's it. <laughs> that is the end to Nikita's big series on Fight and Love. The spoiler is, she doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, that has been my reaction to Nikita Dragon series unfiltered. If you guys want to let me know any other series that I should probably watch and make a little series of my own watching them, then let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new also, and I guess I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? Good, bye. Every time I drop the mic, I swear I got hypnotized. Racing back my kid and they made you smash it.